railings are the crucial part of our building. So in this video, we are going to modify this existing railing into a new design of glass panel railing. So stay with us and watch the full video. First of all, we are going to select this railing and we have to click on edit type. In this section, we have to click on duplicate in order to create a new design. So let's rename it as a glass panel railing and click on OK. So basically railing have five main parts. So we have top rail, we have hand rail, we have mid rails which are included in rail structure and we have baluster placement. Inside this baluster placement we have main pattern of balusters and we have the posts which are start post, corner posts and end posts. So we will discuss each part one by one. So first of all we are going to talk about the height of railing. So in this area you can see height of railing is 3 feet high. So basically the height of railing is the height of top rail. So if you are going to change this height of top rail, let's say we are going to change it 4 feet, the railing height is changed to 4 feet. Let's change it back to 3 feet. So about the top railing, if you do not want to install the top railing, you have to uncheck this box. But if you uncheck this box, before placing the mid rails, the railing is not going to work. So let's check this box again. And for the railing type, top rail type, we have to change the top rail type also. We have to click on this button. And after that, if you want to use the existing types of uh, top rail, you have to select from this drop down. Otherwise, you have to create, create a duplicate and we have to modify. So let's use the top rail as a circular one and a half inch. After that, we will discuss the structure of top rail. So for the joint type, this one will be a meter joint or a weld joint or a fillet joint. So we are going to use a fillet joint and we have to give the fillet radius. Let's give it 3 inches radius and for the profile we are going to use the circular handrail one and a half, a half inch and for the extensions this one the extension at beginning or the bottom this means uh, this is used for the for the stair railing and extension at end or top this, uh, this one is used for the straight railing so we have options in the extension style either we want to join the extension up to wall or floor or post and also we have the extension at end or top these are also same wall floor or post and at the termination point we are going to use termination wood rectangular and that's it for the top rail and then we have to click on OK. So, so if you want to view the model of uh, railing, you have to click on this preview button and here you can see the changes applying on your design. After that, we are going to talk about the rail structure. So these are the mid rails. Uh, the number of mid rails can be various uh, depending on the design of the railing. We have to click on edit and then we have to ins install the mid rails. So we have to click on insert and let's rename it as the bottom rail. We have to create two more and drag them down. Let's rename one as 
top well one and the other one as top well two for the heights we have to provide the heights for the bottom rail uh, this one from the bottom most part so this will be six inches from the bottom and we have a three feet height so we are going to use two feet and six inches from the top rail one and for top rail two we are going to use two feet and nine inches so there will be a three inch gap between top rail and main rail so after that we are going to select the profiles for each rail so let's select our profile of square handrail one inch for each after setting everything we have to click on apply and ok so as you can see three mid rails are installed and top rail is also installed the next topic is the baluster placement we have to click on edit so this is a crucial part we have to assign everything carefully first we will talk about the main pattern so for the main pattern we have the vertical balusters and we have to add another baluster and rename it as plate baluster and glass panel So for the plate baluster, we are going to use a steel flat upright plate, two inch into half inch. And for the glass panel, we are going to use panel glass two feet, eight inches. So the plate baluster will start from the host and it will go up to the top rail element. And for the glass panel, this one will start from the bottom rail and it will end up to the top rail 2. Sorry, top rail 1. So let's click on apply and see if changes are appearing or not. And as you can see, glass panels are installed and vertical balusters are also installed. But the offset or the distance from the previous is not correct so we have to write for the flat upright plate we have to write zero and for this one because we have two feet and eight inches of glass panel so half of that should be written here one feet four inch and up for the end pattern we have to change this distance because half of the glass panel are going outside of the rail so we have to write one feet and four inches in this area after that click on apply and let's see changes are applied so so far so good after that we have to justify from where we, our panel is starting so panel shall be at the center of the rail let's check so this is the correct position but we have to install the something in the excessive length of both side so we have to install a square one inch baluster at the spacing of six inches so there are balusters installed at six inches spacing at the excessive lengths where glass panel is not installed that's all for the main pattern so we have to go to posts so we have to start we have to click start post and select the material for start post so our start post will be a square one inch our corner post will be a square two inches and our end post will be a corner square one inches so these are will start from host 
up to the top element top rail element so let's click on apply so as you can see corner posts are also installed and the vertical balusters are in correct position and we have to click on ok now let's apply this these settings so after application of these settings we will install a handrail and supports for that handrail now click on apply and click on ok so as you can see the changes are applied on the straight railing but not applied to the stair railing so we have to select the stair railing and we have to select our design as we said glass panel railing this one we made earlier so click on this one and this will also change the position of the design of the stair railing so the joint are the radius the radius is supplied 6 inches 3 inches for the uh, joint area also in this corner and on the stair after that we have to select this this type of stair glass panel railing which we created and click on edit type now we have to install the handrail for the handrail we have to select the family of handrail and from here we can select the type of handrail pipe wall mounted rectangular wall mounted or the circular so this these bottom two pipe wall mounted and rectangular wall mounted shall be used in case of the railing on the wall side so our railing is not that one so we are going to use circular one and a half inch and for the height of uh, railing we are going to use 2 feet and 10 inches so our our top most mid rail is at 2 feet 9 inches so this one will be at 2 feet 10 inches for the sports of uh, handrail we have to go to sports section and in the family we have to select a sport metal circular and we have to select some position for our our post of handrails we can select fixed distance fixed numbers maximum spacing these are all the same kind of things we have to select align with posts so our vertical posts shall be aligned with the support of handrail after that we have to click on ok and for the position without selecting the position we cannot apply the handrail so we have to select the position let's select right and click on apply so this is saying that we cannot align the po the sports to the post that is fine so posts are not aligned with the sports so we have to change that property and we have to select fixed distance so justification shall be center and we have to write 2 feet 8 inches as our glass panel size is 2 feet 8 inches then click on apply and ok our sport is installed at the center point of that glass panel In this area we can rotate this these and let's see that the sport is installed to the railing correctly or not so this is a little bit down so we have to provide the distance correctly let's change it to 11 inches apply so this is further up let's change it to 10.5 inches and then apply again and that is fine and click ok now click apply and ok so the handrail is also installed as you can see the handrail is installed on on 
the outer side of the stair railing but the inner side of the straight railing so we have to shuffle this to other side for this one we have to select and click on these arrows so this will move the railing to hand railing to the inner side of stair railing that's all for today's video i hope you learned and enjoy this video if you really enjoyed this video please hit like button and subscribe to our channel see you in the next video